have where you just don't know how you want to start an intro and you want to be funny, but you know you're, like, tired so you don't know how to be? That's this intro. <laughs> hey guys, so welcome to Weekly Art Inspirations, your weekly source of art inspirations. Um, for today, we're going to be doing, I don't know if it'll be a two-part or a one-part, not really sure at the moment. Um, but I'm really excited. We're going to be doing a magnet. So this is my design that we're going to be going off of um, to create it. It's going to be a little wolf that looks like it's biting down or laying on top of um, your note that you would have on your fridge. So that's what we are working on at the moment. Sorry, something just popped up on my, on my Instagram. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, if you guys want, I may also do later on, or if we want to do, an, if you guys want to see another video, I'll do a dragon, but I believe this will be a either two or three part. I'm going to do the sculpting of it, and then the casting, and then the resin, and then the painting. So it's going to have a few processes. We'll see if it's short enough that I just put it all together, or you'll be seeing more videos. So with that said, thank you guys for coming, enjoying, I hope you enjoy, and like if you do, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon, it helps out the channel, we can get some more art sprites, if you enjoy what's going on, be sure to tag me in, uh, or not in, on Instagram, or, uh, I, I don't, I can't tag anyone on YouTube, anyways, tag me if you guys make anything really cool, I am a star of art on almost all of their social media, um, and so, yeah, definitely do that. I will feature you guys if you have made something cool that was inspired by Weekly Art Inspirations. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so let's go get started with sculpting. Do not be concerned by the noise. I'm not being murdered by Jason. It kind of sounds like it, <laughs> but I'm not. Um, so today, guys, we're going to be using Monster Clay. I have a few packs of it uh, in my kit of stuff. So Monster Clay, I do, um, I can't afford <laughs> the uh, bigger stuff, so I just buy samples, and at the moment I'm not doing anything big enough to uh, really warrant buying a whole case of it. I'm hoping to in the future, but at the moment, not so much. But with that said, so what I have here is I actually like sculpting with a hard clay. Um, and if you want to check it out guys, I'll have a link in the description below where you can find and buy Monster Clay from their website. Um, it's only, I believe, $8.95 and, that, and there's free shipping on it, so it's really easy to get. It's not too expensive. And if you are an artist that wants to start using more, um, I would almost say hardcore clay, like real professional stuff, this is really good oil-based clay. Um, so what that means is to make it soft, I have to use an actual flame. So probably not younger audiences doing this, um, just because it is dangerous and you have to know when to have the flame and when to pull it away. And so with that as well, when you heat it up, you can mold it a little bit more. This is the hard that I'll be using today for making our little um, magnet, which I have the design for right up here. And one of the other things too is I've done other little projects with it. If you can see, I made some molds for doing um, some crayons. I plan on doing a uh, coloring book, I think within the next year, so keep an eye out for that, but at the moment, what I was planning on is when I get the coloring book done, I would have where you, when you buy a coloring book, you get a few limited edition crowns, and they are completely made, sorry, crayons, I can't say crowns to save my, crayons to save my life, I grew up saying crowns, and my mom thought it was funny, so I now only say crayon, crowns for the most part. Um, but this was, these are two of the other ones that I did, um, and I believe these are both a medium, a wolf and a little dragon. So keep an eye out for that if I ever get it done. I'm hoping I will. Um, but the three grades they have is soft, medium, and hard. I prefer hard just because it will get softer as you start working with it, um, and as you start getting it warmer. One of the other things, or medium, those are the two I kind of go for. With soft, I feel like I'm too easily going to screw up stuff. Um, and to give you a look at one of the other things that I've actually created more recently, um, I've been trying to get back into sculpting a little bit more. This is a face I made very recently. 
um, just to t kind of try getting more facial features, doing hair. There are some different things I wanted to try doing. Um, so that's a ooh, how close can I get? That's a look at one of the things I've worked on recently with this clay. I'm actually probably gonna melt him down, which will be really fun. Let me know in the description below, or even well, maybe I'll just have it at the end of this video. Um, the end of this video may be this um, melting. Uh, I've kind of been hoping and planning to do a video of a time lapse of that, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, but with that said, let's get into sculpting this. I have a little bucket that I keep all of my tools in. I have a lot of sculpting tools, but the main ones I use are these little um, carving tools. I actually use these for pumpkins, um, but I like using them for sculpting. Oh, this one's broken. Never mind, not that one. I'll have to, whoa, I'll have to get another one. Here we go, that one. And then I also like these that have rounded ends. It just makes it a little bit easier to sculpt with. And then the last ones that I've gotten more recently are these are silicone. Um, these are silicone different uh, tip type things. I have about four different ones, but I really love this one. Um, oh, and the hard edge. Both of those are, these are kind of my main tools that I like using. Um, and for any sculptor, you know, you have your favorite things, but these are the ones that I mainly work with. Um, as well as we have a Bic multi-purpose lighter, because we're going to need it to be able to soften some of the clay and to make some of the edges softer. So, with that said, we'll get started. And just a little overview kind of before anything goes on more. One of the things I'm going to do first is I'm going to sketch in um, as well... I don't know, maybe I'll tell you. Sometimes I feel like I don't get enough content in for you guys to understand what's going on. So just quick overview, I'm going to sketch out and clay with one of these tools, just kind of making lines of making this design. Then I'll start building it up, and after that I'll start honing the details, and then we'll start getting kind of the shape and look that we need. One of the other things to note when you're doing anything that will be replicated, you're going to be making a mold of. Always make sure that there's not deep crevices and that there's always very, um, not very sharp lines. Like a lot of things like the tail on this I will have to modify because I'll probably curl the tail in a little bit more or end it so it's just right there. Because if you have sharp edges it's really hard to get the, um, I'm trying to think of what it is, the stuff, <laughs> what is it called? I have it right in here, hold on guys. Um, the the cat epoxy that's what i'm thinking of Epos epoxy that's one of the things that's really really important is that you want to make sure that when you are doing this when you do the cast of it if you make a mold it is going to be really hard if there's really sharp lines that's why again here with the ears i'm going to have to soften it um, with any of the other things i've worked on i soften a lot of details so whew, with all that explanation done Please make sure to let me know if you guys would enjoy seeing another. I actually have another dragon design that I've thought about doing, so if you want to see more of that, be sure to like and let me know in the description below. And let's just keep this little group of art inspirations going. Make sure you can, oh, make sure to, sorry guys, hashtag art sprites on Instagram or anywhere if you make anything inspired by art inspirations. I'd love to see it and I'll feature you on any new videos coming out once I see it. So. Yeah, just kind of a fun way we can share our community. Anyway, I guess guys, let's get started. So, like I said, I started by doing a sculpt, um, well actually a sketch on there, um, with a little definite tool, and then I start making, like, shading. So what I mean by that is I go down a few layers, not super deep, because with making a magnet you want to make sure that when you're casting it that the mold won't get stuck and you won't break molds, and that's taken some long years to get right and I still don't always get it right. But if you make more of like a shadow instead of a groove, because grooves can create a really big problem when sculpting, so that was one of the things I really tried to go for. And then from there I just kind of either deepen or lighten the shadows. Sometimes I add more clay if I need like the shoulder or the leg there to have a little bit more um, thickness to it. Um, and I, I just try and make it to where it doesn't seem as flat. So I'll intentionally try and sculpt it around the edges and I keep using that, um, I'm trying to think of what it is, the flame tool, the lighter. <laughs> I keep using the lighter to ensure that when I'm doing it 
it's not um, staying too hard and I use the lighter to soften things up so not to melt them necessarily but to get it soft so if I've done a sharper edge I usually use that tool to melt it so it seems a little bit softer and you want to do that as well so that when you're molding it it'll be a lot easier to mold um, because it won't be as um, if the indents are there like I said deep grooves or cuts will be really hard to mold so I try and stay away from that and I try and use my um, squishy end tools to try and make those little indents and different things like that and pretty much I love sculpting because it kind of reminds me of drawing when I'm doing something like this where it's more one-dimensional for a magnet and so it's more of just creating the lines and definition that you need in it and I'm not really sure how long this one took me I can't remember when I'm recording this I want to say it was about an hour or two hours to do this I think it was only an hour but I really really enjoyed making this I hope you guys will take and try and do this. I think it is so fun. I've actually just finished doing the part two for this video and there will be an inexpensive way to do this if you want to try and make your own mold and not do it necessarily as expensive as making a, or buying a mold set that's about 20 bucks. You can use clay. So that's something really fun that'll be coming in the next video. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's the end of this stuff that I can tell you right here. Hey guys, so this is going to be the first video of the Making a Magnet, um, I believe it will be either two or three episodes, but here is the finished little wolf magnet that we have finished sculpting today. Um, I'm really excited about it. This is going to be so fun. I am so excited to make this into a magnet. So next episode will be making a mold and then I don't know if casting will be on a different one casting and painting or if it'll be on the same one so just stay tuned for that guys I hope you have a fantastic day make sure to subscribe I don't know when this video will be going up so just an FYI that if we're going to reach 100 still, we will be doing a giveaway of you will get to choose one of the various things that I show on um, this channel. If you like the end product of this little guy, I will send it to you. Or if you like the posable creature or any of the other things other than those I have given away, that will be part of it. And I will also have a little grab bag of different favorite items of mine that I love drawing, painting, or sculpting with, and maybe a combination of all three. So stay tuned for that. If we are going to be reaching 200, that would be amazing. And I don't know what we'll be doing for that, so stay tuned. But with that said, remember that you guys are amazing. Try new things, stay inspired, and just remember, I love you guys. You art sprites are incredible. So with that said, please make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what else you'd like to see me make or mold. And there's some more videos right over here. So yeah, guys, hope you have a fantastic day, week, and month. Bye, guys.